The Ipsos poll shows a whopping 65 percent of Americans disapprove of Donald Trump's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. And as other world leaders call for new shutdowns amid rising case numbers, Trump is stumbling into catastrophe by pushing unproven treatments and sowing confusion and distrust around a vaccine. Donald Trump's reckless endangerment of his own supporters and the coming Woodward tapes are where we start this hour with some of our favorite reporters and friends. With us from The Washington Post, White House Bureau Chief Phil Rucker, from The New York Times, the aforementioned political reporter Nick Confessori, Plus, global health policy expert and MSNBC medical contributor, Dr. Vingupta is here. Dr. Gupta, I have to start with you and that fire coming from the governor of Nevada. Nevada has struggled um, both with a decimated economy so dependent on casinos and gambling and indoor recreation, the kind that represents super spreader risk, um, which, which I've learned from folks like yourself. But Donald Trump's open defiance of the science and the things that will keep his voters safe on display last night. It was stunning to see. And it was an embarrassment to, to, to him and his administration, Nicole. And, you know, this is getting these shenanigans are it's enough is enough. I love the well-placed anger of the Nevada governor because this type of event, I mean, this is one of the worst types of events I think I've ever seen. Uh, and, and that's saying something coming from President Trump. You had the majority of individuals, thousands not socially distanced, not practicing masking, almost basking in the glow of participating in an event where the where the president was was presiding over something that was not science based that was almost doubling down on his complete recklessness when it came to ignoring the advice that he was given in early February. I still can't get my head around it. And anybody that's dealing with this can't get their head around it. Nicole It's shocking that he didn't put into place uh, whether it was the Defense Production Act, whether it was messaging appropriately, whether it was alerting health systems like the one that I'm here uh, working in right now in Seattle, covered in smog, m might I add, alerting us to what the threat was. Right now, he's basically doubling down on that strategy, that he doesn't believe in science, that people are not at risk. And it it's, continues to be detrimental. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.